hello beautiful people welcome back to the episode number two of the trail blazer leagues now these are the stats after the original episode i'm just over here chilling uh, fishing while editing and the stats are already looking very very nice now if you missed the first episode the link will be in the description i'll make a playlist just like i did in the twisted leagues it's gonna be a lot of fun so hopefully the gains keep going oh I just equipped a rune weapon and it was a 50 point task. I'm rendering a video so I'm lagging a little bit. So perhaps an adamant... <gasps> what if an adamant weapon was also a task that I basically skipped through? Well, shit. Alright, anyways, uh, gonna sell this silk, make some money, maybe even consider going for 80 fishing. Huh, would you look at that? We can do tiers of gothics by the looks of things. Alright, here we go. 40 tiers. 3000 farming XP. Oh my god. And 10 points. Very nice. That's actually a good skill to get up like that, I think. All right. 53 thieving. And we can now pickpocket desert bandits. I think two more levels to go until we can do RD Knights. And there we have it. I just planted random seeds in the allotment down here. The cabbages. And that was 10 points. All right. We're going to pick a bit of flax. Just, uh, just like six or five. There's a bunch of tasks where you need to either create a short bow or something like that. And as you can see, it's also a diary. I think I need to pick five. Quickly buying some pineapples and we put these right into the compost bin. That one will create us 15 super composts and that's going to be another task I believe and decent experience. Very quickly getting 15 fire making so I can use the rest of the logs on fletching uh, because at 15 I can then use oak logs to keep on training fire making that is. And there we go 15 fire making I don't even need to make this one and now I'll fledge the rest. Another simple task, oak shortbow completed, that should be 10 points, very nice. And here we have it, 35 fletching, meaning that I can now create a very quick um, willow shortbow for 50 points, I think. 50 points for something that simple, we cannot say no to that. Still have some extra bows for later on, but there we go. That is 50 extra, we still gotta do 68, I think, tasks, because this doesn't seem to update for some reason. Alright, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna finish this 80 fishing, that's gonna give me a lot of points. And then we're gonna go and complete as many small tasks as I can. And we're also gonna look into completing some clue scrolls. Uh, and also, we're gonna look into completing some quests. Especially the quests that give some decent mixed rewards. So we're gonna get our total higher. However, I cannot miss out on this amazing fishing experience. Okay, there we go. 80 fishing already, 100 extra points. I'm not gonna be pushing for 99 anytime soon. At least until I unlock further relics. But that's a nice boost to the point situation. And right now, I'm gonna go do as many tasks as I possibly can. That's another 10 point task right there just to teleport here. Very nice. And that is going to be the lab completed. 10 points. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna search this crate right over here and get ourselves a monkey backpack. That should be 10 points. There we go. We just pickpocketed a knight for 50 times, I believe. And that was a 50 point task. If you're wondering why I'm doing this, I'm getting 10,000 coins so I can create a workshop in my house so I can then create the clockwork so I can then go ahead and do birdhouse runs. Alright, back on 10k, got to 60 thieving from RD Knights and I should be able to buy the room now. That should also be a task if I'm not mistaken. Quickly we hop to building mode and we build right over here and we create ourselves a workshop. We're poor again, but that was 10 extra points. And now if we build, there it is. We're also over 25 construction, which is what we need. Now we upgrade it to tier 2. And then we utilize the steel bar on it. Perhaps craft, clock war, mechanism. And we craft four of these. And this is pretty much us being now uh, prepared on the birdhouse runs. However, I don't know why my character is being papeg. Oh, because I just need to click craft. Uh, but there we go, four of those. Then we're gonna need some logs. We're gonna go to Draenor uh, to get some seeds. All right, so I just made my way over here to the fossil island for 10 points. And I think... Oh, you cunt. You fucker. No, I don't have 25. What? You're trolling. Well, it's good to be lucky sometimes. Would you look at that? A clean a necklace. Now, we're gonna have to find our... Um, what's it called? A... Cosmic rune, I believe, in order to make this into a dig side pendant, but that's gonna be lovely. 
Okay, decided to come here to hand members to get the 25 crafting very quickly. I'm also gonna stay here until I get a damaged sword because I need that for the Ardun diary. Alright, this is my home until I get a cosmic rune drop. Yo, I'm just watching Zulu on the side, but here we go. Cosmic runes obtained and that is so precious, so valuable. Obviously because of my relic, I don't even need to... Make multiple. I just need one cosmic rune drop. That's gonna be a permanent dig site uh, teleport. And I already have a gold bar. And I also already have a ruby. So we're pretty much good to go. Aside from the fact that this ruby is not cut. Eh, 34 crafting. Should be easy to get afterwards. Right, so I'm on my way to do easy Karamja task. Which is just to enter the... Fire pit, but I'm also gonna kill one Tazar on the way. I should have enough tasks to be able to do it. Tasks? Casts, I meant to say. To be able to do it. I'm not quite 49 magic. You don't really get good XP over on the over on the trees. Hey, there it is. He is the Don't tell me. Someone damaged it. Oh, that's so tragic. I just spent like a hundred casts killing this one and someone damaged it, so it didn't even count. My god, I swear if I don't make it. Come on, dude. Come on, hit him twice more. Yes, yes, that's good. Please hit him. We're good. Oh, we're good. Please work. There we go. 10 points. All of these for 10 points. My god, man. I was about to lose my shit. But the reason why we came here is so we can enter this cave just like so. And then go out right after. And that's gonna be a task. Well, it's gonna be a diary task. Our very first birdhouse run and it's actually time for us to start taking things a little bit differently So can I just empty this look at this 4k? 4k man 29. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh <gasps> shit. No, I forgot a she's allowed you trolling me Okay, here we go. Now I can finally remake my birdhouses lovely So we're gonna be doing this pretty much the entire time as long as I can I'm gonna always have the woodcutting level to make the best birdhouses that I can Eventually I can utilize that in order to catch implings to make money for a dragon scimitar Or if I do not go that route, I just get free hunter passive XP uh, That's why I also want that dig site pendant because it's gonna make this even faster it's gonna be so sick i think but there we go 32 hunter already this this is gonna go up so fast i'm gonna love this and uh, i'm gonna get enough seeds from either buying or i might just pickpocket master farmers for a bit because why not and just do that however uh, there is another thing we're gonna do while we are here uh, i actually missed this tree i brought pickaxe we're getting 40 mining so i can do the karamja Easy diaries, so I can get my Herblur going as well. So we're gonna basically train Herblur through lamps, and here is this beautiful three-way spot that nobody knows about. So we're gonna utilize that for basically as long as possible, right? Uh, which should be forever, because nobody ever is here training mining. So very happy, the levels are going up, we're progressing nicely. I did not know that was a task. There it is, 40 mining accomplished. Uh, I'm gonna quickly go ahead and chop some trees until I got 100 in my bank, so then I can burn those and get another simple task done. And we just got 50 points for reaching 750 total. I didn't actually know that was a thing. I've also gotten 10 points for uh, burning an oak for the very first time, getting all the way to 30 as quickly as possible. Then we move on to willows, which will be even faster XP and even another 50 point task. There it is, burn 100 willow logs. The next one is burn 100 yew logs. However, in order for me to do more birdhouse runs, I need to get a couple of tick logs. Well, not a couple, but quite a lot. So for that, we're gonna go ahead and grab our dueling ring. And we're just gonna uh, grab an ax as well. There it is. And we are going to rub and teleport straight to castle wars. And there is a singular beautiful tick tree all the way down here, lonely in the distance. And we're gonna cut this one for a little bit. It's pretty solid XP as well. Honestly, might stay there until 60 and then do 100 U logs as well. It's very easy 100 point task, just takes a little bit of time to get there. So since I'm currently getting my wilderness account to start doing some wilderness slayer, 
I think it could be a solid thing to look for. And look at this, very close to a next relic. So we go right through here. We're also going to be catching 50 swordfish. In order to do that, I'm going to need to trade this guy right here. So just by entering, 50 points, beautiful right there. And now we are going to trade the guy that's for some reason outside of his own store. And we are going to be buying both harpoon and the lobster pot. That I cannot buy here for some fun. Hold up, there is a harpoon over here. There is also a fishing net over here. And there is also a lobster pot on the floor. Oh, <laughs> saved. Good. Right, first things first, 100 lobsters. We basically only need to catch 50. Other 50, the relic does the trick. And then we're gonna harpoon this spot for basically 25 swordfish. So that should give us a ton of points and that should probably get us extremely close to unlocking the next relic. And there we have it, 50 points for catching 100 lobsters. And now we need to catch 50 swordfish. So that's lovely, look how close we are. Ah, that didn't update again, so maybe now. Yeah, 130. I can get this in almost no time, but I'm uh, still preparing my wilderness account. So I think catching 50 uh, swordfish should be extremely simple. Okay, the AFK session is almost coming to an end here. Just gotta catch one more raw swordfish. And once again, just as before, just as I said earlier, I'm not actually going to go for the shark one, simply because I don't think it's worth it, and I will do it when I get my infernal uh, harpoon. So we'll do that all later when we get our tier 4 relics. But can I catch one swordfish instead of tuna, please give? Hey, there it is. 50 extra points. Would you look at that? 130 points left. Uh, I'm going to quickly go to Varrock, buy more casts, and then continue on with tasks. Right now, I really want to unlock the next relic because that's going to improve my experience rates even more. Believe it or not, there was actually a queue in Wizard's Tower to kill a goddamn lesser demon. So here we are on our favorite free-to-play spot in Karamja, and we're gonna kill a lesser demon. That's a medium task, that's gonna be 50 points for free, just like that. Very solid. After that we move on and finish the tasks in Karamja, and there's also a bunch of things that I still gotta do. There's like so many things, so many things to do for points, I can't wait to go it. I wanna go build a camp, uh, I wanna make the dig site pendant right here, this is the level that I needed to do it. I need to get crafting levels to make the dig site pendant. If I'm all over the place, that's because everything is all over the place, it's actually hard to keep track of everything I want to do. I'm having so much fun, let's kill the goddamn lesser demon. And there it is. That will be it, right? Ah, beautiful. 50. There we go. That's the gold ore. Dude, this guy could legit just turn around, smack me, and I would be dead. Okay. Mushroom spore. Let's pick it up. Juking everything that can be juked. Okay, so I'll take the damage here. Honestly, pretty convenient because I need to die anyways. Believe it or not, that is actually a task. What? Where's death? Am I not supposed to visit the death? Hello? Maybe I can visit it like this? Huh, that's convenient. Right, 10 extra points, lovely. Uh, I didn't even need to die. And there we go, 10 points for completing Karamza... Karamza? <laughs> Karamja easy diaries. But uh, that's not actually the reason why this is so good. We're actually gonna get a lamp, and this three herb lore will hopefully evolve a little bit with the help of the lamp, and most of the lamps are actually gonna be used on herb lore skill, because believe it or not, even in leagues, this skill is the hardest to train. I have so many things on my mind right now, so many things I want to do, so let's just get at it as fast as possible. There we go, we got a Karamja Glove Steer 1, but most importantly this antique lamp that we can rub and use on Herblor for 8000 Herblor experience. That is huge. I could have genuinely waited, I could have actually waited until the next relic, but honestly... 10 points until next relic. Wait, what? Only 10? I guess I'll go catch an anchovy, because that's a 10 point task, and that will unlock my next relic. Alright. <laughs> that was quick. There it is. So that should be it then. Right? There we go. 2000 total points. I can now unlock the new relic. 
And I'm already decided on which one I actually want to get and the one I want to get is Fluid Strikes. What Fluid Strikes does is the attack speed of the melee weapon is halved so it's twice as good. My melee accuracy will be 25% increased and I'll take 15 less damage from all sources. On top of that my HP will regenerate faster. That is perfect, right? Then we have Quick Shot. If I were to take something like Tyrannon, this one would be awesome because you could utilize Blowpipe really well with this. However, I'm not taking that, so I don't think it's that good. I think this one you take if you get for if you go for Blowpipe. This will basically attack speed of all ranged weapons are half. The Blowpipe will be like so insane. Um, they the range attacks are also 100% increased accuracy. They deal 10% more damage, and you save 90% of your ammunition, which is pretty huge. And then the double cast, the deck speed of all mod magic spells and weapons is halved and my magic attacks are increased in accuracy and uh, they also save 90% of the runes. So this one on the PvP account, perfect. However, for the main, we're going with fluid strikes. It seems just perfect. It seems exactly what I want for my strategy. So let's go ahead and select this one. Plus, items from some sources will be two times as common. That's a very solid passive effect right there. Let's collect it. Fluid Strikes unlocked. Beautiful. Right, let's get some money and finally finish our camp. Actually, I might need to do... Uh, no, I need to get crafting. Right, we're gonna go to Camelot, train crafting to 37, make the Excite Benton, then do the birdhouse. Dude, my mind right now, all over the place. Picking a bucket of super compost. 50 points right there, very nice. So right now we're pushing towards... The fourth relic, okay, uh, I'm completing Sheep Shearer really quickly because of the reason that I need crafting experience and when you do quests, you get extra experience and I need 37 in crafting, so I don't think that might, that's not gonna be quite enough. Yeah, it's only gonna be enough for one level, but you know what, I get a task as I do it. Anyways, how am I gonna get six levels? I think Molten Glass is the way to go. Alright, so I hope this will work. Ah, there we go, obtain a gem while mining, lovely, and... I actually get two topazes sent directly to my bank. It could be a solid strategy perhaps to just do this for crafting. I don't think it's a solid strat though because I don't have a glory. If I had a glory or maybe a rune pickaxe it would be solid but because I don't I will think I'll just go easy task after easy task after easy task complete 44 tasks in a row. Let's do it. Alright, I'm making some iron bar, I gave in, um, there we go, a simple task. We're gonna be making 150 iron arrows, which is another task, and then I can basically fledge those into arrows, and that's another task, so very easy task. So I'm just going down the list at the moment, trying to complete as many as possible, because I think it's gonna be extremely beneficial to unlock the next area as soon as possible. Here we go, 150 arrow tips done. Quick little task and then I can attach these on my arrow shafts I believe, headless arrows actually, add them onto this, this is actually really good fletching XP, look at this, 300, 300, 300, even gonna get a fletching level out of it, so that's gonna be another task, and the rest, well honestly, because of the fletching XP, I might do more, I don't think it's worth it, I really don't think it's worth making more arrow tips, I think making the knives is actually better, because nobody is going to be using a bow, let's be honest, right, to train. So I'm just going to do the knives, even though I could get some more fledging XP out of it. I don't think it's worth it. And then after this, I guess more tasks. Let's put the relic to the test. We're going to be smacking some goblins real quick. Uh, I just need... Oh my, look at this! Bro! <laughs> what the fuck? Yo, what the fuck? <laughs> look at that! Oh my god! It goes. I need chef's head, basically. That's why we're smacking this for. And I might as well take the bows as well. Oh my, this is hilarious. This is the funniest shit I've seen all day. Look at this. And we even have a staff. It's not even doing the animation. That's how quick it smacks. Look, boom, boom. Smack that guy real quick. Boom. Go. Boom, boom. Oh my, I love it. I love it already. Oh, yes. Air talisman. Locate. Boom task wonderful sick uh, i can even craft runes that's another task that i can keep this for lovely you know how many i've killed 150 it legit doesn't exist oh that's the second time all i had to do was complain and i got it 
That's literally right after. Oh my god. Be right back. Right. I don't know if you guys heard that, but I just got 60 attack. Just got my chef's hat. If you're wondering why was I going for chef's hat, well, first of all, I didn't think it was this rare, okay? And second of all, I can just teleport here to the cooking guild, put it on, enter. How would you look at that? Another task completed. And that's a 50 task. Like, that's so easy 50 points. That's the easiest 50 points ever. All right, that could be the reward, I think. Hey, another beginner casket. Number two, can we get a unique? If I get a unique, that is also a task. Right, it's a beginner. So we'll take the staff of water because... Believe oh, no, don't drop it because that can actually out for a bit of money. Solid, 900. There we go, 41 hunter out of that one. I really gotta get some crafting levels, man. Crafting, I am slacking behind and I think I forgot to put seeds in this one as well. There we go, right. I think it is time. I think it's time for some crafting training. We've been delaying it long enough. All right, I finally decided that I think it's about time I build this goddamn place up because it also gives me XP lamps. It's just overall an amazing thing to do. Now, first we build this, 10 points. Uh, but most importantly, I can now actually just take this out because I didn't have enough space. And we're just gonna go around building stuff. So we're 28 construction already. Now we build this. Boom, 32, my god experience. I don't even know what everything is, by the way. It's been a long time since I did, did this on the main game. Boom, we built that, 36 construction. Boom, we built that, 39 construction. Did I miss anything? Most likely. This one, build that, boom, done. 40 construction. This is the last thing, hopefully. And bam! What is that? Did that not give me XP? Hello? Huh, that was weird. That didn't seem to give me any XP. However, we can now speak to our boy right over here in this little water area. And he should give us uh, the fossils and those fossils should give us XP. Now, I'm a bit in a dilemma whether or not I should use those on Herblor or on Prayer. Uh, but we'll figure it out, I guess, soon. And uh, I have more questing to do. Alright, this quest is actually huge because we get the crafting experience that we need to create the dig site pendant. So we just need to create an elemental mind helm over here. And let's see the experience drops. I wish I could see the XP drops. I dare legit hidden. Um, but there we go, 50 points. This one's huge. And let's see the levels. 46 smithing from 30 and 47 crafting from 31. So I can now use... Do very good birdhouse runs. That is very, very solid. Very happy with this. Now I can also create um, the shield right here. Elemental shield will be useful if we end up killing Viverns at some point. Uh, I also, also think the shield has some decent stats. Yeah. Yeah, it's solid, right? No negatives at all. Very good shield, right? Perfect. Uh, I can now finally create the pendant. All right, here is the mold area. Uh, the man sells the ring molds, the necklace molds, the monkey amulet molds, the bracelet molds. Okay, there's a couple of easy tasks that require me to get a couple of herbs, make a couple of potions. Right, let's go ahead and start on some chaos druids. But why is this so populated? I want a free world. I believe one is as simple as just cleaning a guam. Yeah, there we go, 10 points. And then I can make this Guam into an attack potion. I just need to get Eye of Newt, which I think I can also get from these. I would assume this is also a task, so let's give it a shot. So if I craft myself a Ruby Necklace, perhaps. Nothing, but if I enchant the Ruby Necklace, maybe that's a task. Well, shit. However, we now have a Dig Side Pendant. It's gonna be exponentially easier to get to our bird runs now. In fact, you know what? We can go for a quick one right now. I think right now I'm able to do teak and then the next time I'll be able to do maple. So we need four of those. We need a hammer and a chisel. And I think these bird houses are basically going to be everything we are going to do for the hunter training early on because they're just so, so good XP wise. They are amazing. Well, just catching a butterfly. It's actually a 50 point task. I caught a bunch of them already without even knowing that it was a task. But I'm basically just going through the list right now doing as many things as I possibly can to hopefully get these 33 tasks done and more points. Well, one of the tasks is very simple. We're just gonna take an assignment from Venaka and 121 Chaos Druids. That is a lot of Chaos Druids. God damn, I can't enter Windows. Oh, what happens actually? Because usually there's like huge barriers and whatnot, but... 
Nope, cannot enter it. So receive a slayer task. I think there is another task of... Oh, can I just get a gem by speaking to him? Uh, did a task. Accidentally just trying to get some money. But most giant. That's a task. Lovely. Oh, another task. Just drank a strength potion. Simple. Dude, we're, we're blazing through these. Alright, here we go. So now let's see if we were right. We got a drop from most giants and we check it and that is another task. Lovely. I'm actually gonna go ahead and do this 121 Chaos Druids. Should take me a little bit of time, but we'll also get some decent herbs in the process and I think it's gonna be quite fine. Right, I figure since I'm doing this task, I might as well throw my knives at it. Started at 1, now we are 11 and the goal is 40 because with 40 I can enter the ranging guild that's 50 points there. I can also tend my hides in Ranging Guild. Uh, that's a couple of points there. It's just an overall very nice thing. Plus, look at the base stats. Uh, when I'm doing rune crafting, the base will go up. So, really looking forward for that as well. Some easy tasks to be done. Well, can you believe it? The lines are being formed in order to kill a lesser demon on top of the wizard tower for good old 10 points. Well, it's 60 if you haven't killed it in Karamja, but... Uh, I killed it in Karamja, so I just came here, kill it over here, get 10 points, hopefully no one else damaged it. Surely, there we go, 10 points, nice. Alright, another 50 point task is to just build a waka. Build a waka canoe, and this one ladies and gents, look at this, just like that, 50 points, very simple one. I actually decided to really shoot for those... Uh, oh shit, <laughs> almost went to Wilde there, um, to really shoot for those 50 point tasks, because there are some very simple 50 point tasks that I really should be going for. I just went and got myself enough things to make some pizzas in case I burned them, that's gonna be 50 tasks. I also gotta do 30 Draenor laps in order to once again get 50 points. So that's what we're gonna do right here, even though my agility is already 55, I figured 30 laps shouldn't be too bad, right? Here we go, 30 laps. Took a little bit longer than I thought. I'm not gonna, you know, say it didn't. Uh, now I need to get pineapple. Where am I gonna get pineapple? I think I go to Karamja. Yeah, let's get it on Karamja and uh, get a pineapple. All right, well, let's give this a shot. Bucket of water on pot of flour, create a pizza base, use a tomato on it, use some cheese on it, go to the range, use the pizza on an oven and please don't burn it. Lovely, and then use a pineapple ring on a pizza. <coughs> let's get 65 cooking. I think it's worth it. Huh. I used my dig site teleport to teleport over here. Uh, first, I used my dig site pendant on this strange device so I could even get here. And that was a task for 50 points. Had no clue. So basically what I got to do is I got to unlock another one of these mushrooms. And that's why I grabbed some food and some axe. And that should be another task. So we're getting very close. I think the goal for this video is to actually finish all these tasks and unlock the next area. This is still day one. I think I'll basically upload two videos from day one um, because there's just so much progress. And here we go. 10 extra points for unlocking all of this. I think cutting this should probably give me some... Fuck. And we have also achieved level 1000 total for another 50 points. Solid. Well, I'm definitely getting hit by being tired a little bit at this point, but... Uh, we just caught a couple more lobsters because if I cook them, I should be able to do another task, which was cook 100 lobsters. Now, unfortunately, we obviously burnt a few. We're already on 60, going for 65. And anytime now, the task should be done. And there we go. Cook 100 lobsters. I just made a steel bar, which is 50 points. And I'm making over 5 of them so I can make a plate body, which is also going to be 50 points. Well, one should be simple. Pickpocket discard. I think it will count. Sick. Extra 50. Remember how I said I wouldn't chop yew trees um, until I get the next relic? Well, I'm gonna chop 100 of them and then I'm gonna burn 100 of them because that's just easy points that I'm missing out on. Uh, and also, that will probably get me to 65 woodcutting and then I can use that to chop Sully's cap cap which will be extra 50 points. It's just too many points to not get. So we're chopping 100 use. 
Okay, the woodcutting level is 64, a couple of logs away from 65, which is what we need for the next task. But also, I gotta get 60 fire making, and then I gotta burn all 100 logs that we chopped. So, it's gonna be a little bit of a process. We can now cut Sulius Kep, I don't fucking know, mushroom, basically. We gotta cut the mushroom, that's 50 points right there, we'll do it in a moment. I think my birdhouse is also ready, so we'll do both at the same time. This one is it, I think. There we go, 60 fire making, now we gotta burn 100 U's. And there we go, 100 U's were burnt, very nice. We've done over 20 filled birdhouses already, very nice. 50 extra points just then. I already cut two full Suliusep trees and I didn't receive the Suliusep cap yet. Uh, but then I looked at the wiki and it's one in a hundred. Uh, so it should be still very easy to get, so I'll stick to it until I get it. It's a 50 point task for a 1 in 100 from a tree basically, so should be fairly simple. Well, that is a little bit unfortunate, just got to 70 wood cutting and I still did not get the Suliusep cap. That is unfortunate. Oh, I didn't notice. We got it. Nice. 71 wood cutting and we got it and we could also clean our fossils for two lamps I think if those are all small we could get two lamps out of this that could actually be pretty huge right I think this should be simple enough as all I think I need to do is just add everything to the display yep that's one lamp that is two lamps, and uh, yeah, honestly, going dry on those trees wasn't even bad. Now, I did watch solo mission video. It is extremely tempting to put the lamps over on prayer. However, I think Herblor is the hard one here. So we're going to put it on Herblor, 16,000 experience. And you know what? We're going to put another one on Herblor for another. Wait, you know what? Wait. Huh. So it got me to 36. No, 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 we're using it on Herb. Let's go. There we go, and another 16,000. 41 Herblor. I haven't even touched the skill yet. Lovely. Ah, there we go. 48 smithing. That allows me to make a steel plate body. That is a 50 uh, point task. So all I gotta do, real quick, come here, boom, grab a plate body. I mean, steel bar. Boy, the tiredness is getting to me right now. I think I'm gonna have to finish these and then head out to bed. But there it is. Boom. 50 points. It's nice to see it. Well, if you ever want to make quick armor, you can sell it for a thousand gold. It's, it's not much, but, you know, it's something. And ladies and gentlemen, 40 range. That allows me to do a couple extra tasks, which I'm going to go ahead and do right now. Um, I might need to kill a cow though, because I do not know whether or not I have any cowhide. I have one. I don't know if I only need one to make a leather body. So I'm just gonna get a couple extra just in case. Believe it or not, I have never tanned anything in the ranging guild before. I don't even know how to do it. But there we go, 50 points for just entering. And let me find... <laughs> What? What do I even do? Like, I'm so confused. Maybe this guy. This guy has to be it. No? Believe it or not, I have never tanned anything in the ranging guild before. I don't even know how to do it. But there we go. 50 points for just entering. And let me find... <laughs> what? What do I even do? Like, I'm so confused. Maybe this guy. This guy has to be it. No? Alright, let's speak to Leather Worker. I'd like you to tan something for me and make me a soft leather, please, so I can create a leather body. I think it's gonna only take one. Yeah, so it only takes one. I get 10 points. Can I also maybe make a coif? I can. Can I also maybe make a chaps? Nice. Now I'm a ranger. Perfect. Lovely. Um, good. How many tasks to go? This doesn't update. 11 tasks. All right, let's figure it out. One of the simplest tasks that I've missed is to just visit Xeneris. Should be 10 points. Very, very simple. This is a problem. The task is chop a Suliacus cap. I have already done it, but I never actually got points for it. Because look, I've got it in my bank, right? I have it right here. But it doesn't, doesn't work. No, it's 
Yep, it's right here. It didn't count. Okay, we caught La Rupia, and that should be 50 points. Very simple. Do I need more of these? I'm not sure. I'm just gonna, you know, you never fucking know. So I'm gonna catch a couple, perhaps. If I need, I think I might need this for the spotier cape. I think that's what I need to make. I'm currently editing video number two, and it's still day one. I stayed up all night. It's 8 a.m. And I want to finish this video, I want to unlock the relic, but those nine tasks, they're not that easy to complete. So right now I want to get a fire talisman so I can get my runecrafting up. Because if I get my runecrafting up, I can get my base levels up and those are all tasks that I can easily complete. Now, fire talisman can be quite rare. Hopefully we do not get unlucky. Now look how insane this rune X is. It smacks like crazy, look at it go. God damn, so I'll be editing while I kill these. Let's hope for a fire talisman. Wait, hold up. This one is very good. Water talisman, this will allow me to complete the Lumbridge task, I think. Nice, well now fire... Oh wait, I'm such a baboon. I can't even do fire. <laughs> wait, I can't... I'm not taking desert, I cannot do fire. What is... I'm actually such an idiot. This is the one I need. The water talisman. And the way I'll do it... I'll just go from Grand Exchange, grab the water talisman, and just go there with full inventory of essence, I guess? I want a ring of returning, probably, and just essence. I'll just move it here, because... Yeah, that's how we'll, that's how we'll do it. Perfect. All right, let's see if we get the task for any of these. Uh, I will probably consider making a tiara. It should be extremely simple to do. Uh, but for now, let's just craft a couple of inventories. There we go. That is 10. And if I craft 200, which should be a couple of trips, uh, we will also get extra points plus the base stats. The base stats are also going up. There we go. Reach 10 base and 20 base will be very easy as well. There we go, craft 50 runes is another one. This should be base 20 stats, I believe. There it is, this one is also only 10 points. That should be the water rune number 200. Easy 50 points there. And we are, I believe, 4 tasks off. Which one to do next? I am running on fumes, 65 cooking, let's make our pizza already, that one is a long one coming, if that even makes any sense at this point, we gotta need some pineapple, rings, use them, pizza, boom, how much is that, 50, oh, four more tasks, what do I do? Well, I guess they don't want me to sleep. I got a maze random event and we gotta do the maze random event. It has to be done. There is just no option about it. Right, here we go. 67%. Uh, death runes would be insane. I don't even know if you can get death runes here, honestly. So just hook me up with anything. <gasps> oh, that's a task. I just need to cast a blast on something. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, I'm gonna go to sleep soon. Three tasks left. All right, let's just make sure we do this very quickly. There we go. 50 for that. Thank you, Maze. Well, that worked. And now we only have one left. One task left. Yep, believe it or not, I am picking onions. And I will keep picking onions. <laughs> well, 10? I don't know what's full. How many more do I need? Maybe 10 is full, actually. Alright, here we have it. If we pay her north, the task is completed. And I should be able to unlock new area. But guess what? It's bugged again. Ah, there it is. We can now unlock a new area. I'm very decided it is going to be Asgarnia. Let's see the animation. I'm ready for the animation. I waited all day for that. I decided I'm not going to sleep until I do this, and now we're doing it. So, areas, Asgarnia, oh, defenders tomorrow, guys. We're going defenders. We're thinking rogues outfits. We're thinking more quests. Dude, this, Asgarnia has it all. It's gonna be lovely. It's gonna be sick. Mainly looking forward for those defenders, especially with that attack, speed, relic. It's gonna be sick. 
If you guys watched this long into the video, please consider subscribing, consider liking the video. It's one of the longest videos I ever uploaded. It took me basically over 24 hours of gameplay to produce and uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed. Let's unlock Asgarnia and confirm. Read the book. And there it is, a beautiful animation, a new area is unlocked, it is bedtime ladies and gentlemen, good night.